All right, guys, we are back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Ready, Set, Blow podcast, episode 259 for June 30th, 2021. We're in studio this week. My baby brother's in town. G-Dubs is in the studio with us. Chase is, of course, in Boston in his salmon shirt. No L. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, don't know if the, I don't think the mics picked that up, but right before we hit record, Chase was confused because he didn't know there was an L in salmon. <laughs> Because what are you talking about, son? I'm at the point in my age, man. Like, like you know what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> it's a feeling. Uh, yeah, a, you get it. You I'm, know what it is. We were driving. Him, we, 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 I forgot where we were going. When Chase was here in town, we were driving with Jeff. And Jeff tried to, like, understand how he comes up with these sayings. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. He's like, wait a minute. What? Like, he's like, you, he's like, you're kind of always there, but it's always wrong. Like, I don't understand. Like... <laughs> And Chad Chase is like, ah, oh, it's a vibe. Like, what is it? It's a vibe. <laughs> yeah. And Jeff goes, what the fuck does that mean? Like, <laughs> if you don't know, you won't know. You won't know. <laughs> if you, I don't know. If you don't know the vibe, I can't. Either you know, you know, son. I, I don't know. know. Either you know or you know. Either you know. He's <laughs> <laughs> bugging out, son. Uh, yeah. So happy to have Jesse in town. Fucking finally. Yep. Took took almost two years. Uh, before we get into Chase's thirst traps. I wanted to actually get, because you've been here for two days now. What do you think, son? It's nice. It's nice so far. The studio's nice. The studio's dope, right? Yeah. They're moving yeah, to a bigger nice. studio. The studio came up, son. They're about to be a lot bigger, Chase. We're about to have more options in this bitch. Yeah. No, it's nice. I, the weather's fucking great. So. Yeah. I mean, it's been like, what, two days only? I know. Yeah. And we've been fucking Just drinking. Drinking. Drinking it through. <laughs> I mean, it's, I'm drinking right now. It's fucking yeah. noon. We haven't got to have our first beer. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, <brother. laughs> No, but it's, uh, it's Chase, yeah, Chase. Chase got one of his pin joints and, and a bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to, uh, I got to keep up with my thirst trap videos. I got to drink a lot of water. I know, days. son. You got to, you got to stay thirsty. Legendary. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So, I, I, I said last week we're going to talk about the thirst trap video, but Jesse brought it up because he's like, "Yo, son, he acts like an Instagram model <laughs> on his on yo, his I IG." Am a model. Yo, 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 yo Chase, Chase, a forty year old black guy. <laughs> yo, Chase, you got bad bitch behavior on Instagram, son. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, let's 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 stop this narrative. I am, a, I am a fucking model, but no one pays to see me. So <laughs> have you have you ever gotten a girl to DM you off of one of those videos? I'm sure, I mean, you might have gotten a girl to DM you for any other reason, but from one of those videos, like when you're like mugging and you're touching your face, have, have they have they DM'd you from that? Son, I'm Coco Panda. They all come in. <laughs> Coco Panda. That's a new one. I like that one. <laughs> Coco Panda. They all want the Coco, son. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bugging out, son. No, it's probably my best follow on Instagram, son. I love seeing Chase on Listen, Instagram. <laughs> I uh, I don't know. Is it? I just get into these type of moods, man. I feel like I, I'm trying to be satirical with it, but I don't know if it's coming off as that. So, son, I I, I like when, I like when it comes across as genuine. Yeah, because then it's even funnier. So you know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing, and and usually it comes out pretty, like, pretty, like, the, the, like you don't do it on a purpose. Like, yeah. like, oh shit, he thinks this is hot. Like, you, you know, know, my new favorite video. <laughs> <laughs> so my new favorite video is you setting up your camera, playing basketball the other day, and missing every shot, and then just posting it. <laughs> <laughs> That was my new favorite story that I just watched the other day. Chase I keeps, watched that on the way in. I was dying. Chase keeps it real, son. Like most people on Instagram, they They're try fun. and sh- they, yeah, try, yeah. they try and show like the best aspect of their life. Like, yeah. oh, I'm killing it. Here's me on the beach. Chase will film himself doing regular shit. It's the best. You know That's saying? why like, it's the best. It's, it's amazing. That's why it's son. the best. Yes, yeah, I yeah. I just feel like you know it. That's this is I. You guys probably know me good enough by now. Like I just can't fake the. I'm just, that's just not my life, man. I can't do that. Yeah, it's like, either I, you know what you know. It's, you know, know you know. <laughs> He's in the yeah, gym like, missing threes, taking photos of it. <laughs> yeah, I just can't do it. I can't live in that type of world. So whatever happens, that's what it is. And that's what you're going to ex- yeah. have to deal with. That's no, it. Nothing's ever going to top him setting his couch on fire, though, son. That's I'm, yo, I'm so thankful. I said, because Jesse. Screen te- grabbed that. Je- yeah, Jesse Had fucking. To. Jesse like, called me. He's like, yo, you got to go chase, burn, burn his couch. <laughs> and you know, if you go onto Instagram Live, like, it'll go back up. Yeah, yeah. So I went and recorded it, thank God, because it disappeared otherwise. <laughs> but I got it, son. I got it. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, no. <laughs> He's throwing pans of water. Uh, <laughs> Just soaking the couch after that. <laughs> You were on your bad bitch behavior that night, Chase. You were sitting there oh, holding yeah, the yeah. camera. Yeah. Then the shit just starts yeah. smoking. <laughs> Listen, I had I I it really I was trying to 
I'm just so glad that my house didn't burn down. Yeah, so <laughs> you're, 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 you're living in the street right now. <laughs> that was like the height of quarantine too, right? You were just chilling at home, fucking rolling those rolling those yeah. weird looking joints, son. Your joint, the joints you were rolling during the pandemic. Like, were you like drunk when you rolled them? Because they were like crooked as shit, son. Every single one. <laughs> Those shits were depressed. <laughs> I'm not a... <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, my uh, my exterior replicates what's going on inside my heart. Yeah, <laughs> so... yeah your joints are crooked because your life's crooked. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you start seeing me on boats and shit, you know, Poppy got money. That PPE came in. So. <laughs> so I don't like. I don't like when people like. Like, like I said, it goes back to what you guys were saying. You know, the people that kind of just like manufacture these like type yeah, of like yeah. false, um, you know, life that they really don't really either feel or really don't have. I feel like it, it, it becomes more rewarding once you do get to that place and you can actually really post it for real. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, if you're doing something fun. Yeah. People have asked it, me, cause, like followers of mine are like, hey, how come you don't post like about your life? And I'm like, because you follow me for the jokes. What the fuck you yeah. mean? Oh, we want to see what you're doing. I'm like, that's none of your business what I'm doing. So yeah. Yeah, the girl at that show last night, she's like, I was like, oh, like, you're so much more reserved. Like, I thought you would like. What do you think I was gonna pull my balls out at the bar? Like, <laughs> like I'm telling jokes on the internet. She I'm not wanted gonna... you to choke her on hello. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bug it out. So she, she thought I was gonna like you know fucking donkey punch her and, and <laughs> fuck her in the bathroom. I'm like, no, man, I'm hanging out with my brother. I'm, I'm just doing normal things. Like hanging out, yeah. You know, doing normal you shit. Know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Jesse. Like, you know, when you when you when you do like an art form, whether it's music or this comedy or anything, like, you know. Once you like release your material or whatever your joke, in a weird way, it's like it's not yours anymore. It's like for them to interpretate what that is. Yep. You know, that's a good point. Like, it's so it's like we we as like are like we we're, we're like oh this is we're t we have a totally different life outside of the but people really think like that's what it is. I guess it's a good point. Yeah, yeah it's, I guess it's hard to to disassociate. Like I know what my intent is with the jokes. But I don't know how you're taking it. You know, like pe yeah. people take it different ways, you know? Yeah. Um, and I guess they do have like some sense of, oh, this is who he is. But it's like, well, no, it's just, that's just jokes I write. It's not the, my jokes aren't the sum total of who I am. Well, that's, that's also the, the dope thing about comedy is like, it doesn't, you could tap into that, you know, different characters, I guess, if you will. Yeah. Like, just different sides of it. Like, with music, from my perspective, like, there has to be a certain sense of authenticity in the music so that's as close as i'm going to give you as a glimpse yeah to, to who i am it's like listen through the music but all down this way like yeah i'll post you know i'm out here so i'll post a scenic picture or something like that but i don't post pictures of our family on there or yeah, nothing nah. like that you know girls like, i'm pop, dating pop was like the only yeah i don't yeah post pop was the only one pop was the only one that was just because yeah. i wanted to get all those photos like in my it's like basically it's like a like an album so i keep them in yeah, my it's phone. a time yeah. stamp for yeah. that yeah. and yeah. it's it also just like all right like this is what i feel like sharing i don't have to Overshare my life with you. you yeah, know what I mean, pe people do that too yeah. much on Instagram. Yeah, and it's corny. Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, Jeff came around to that too. He's like, he's like, yeah, I got, he used to Instagram live shit all the time. He's like, I'm not doing that anymore. Like, he's like, well, I'm then you have nothing for yourself. Yeah, anymore. exactly. <laughs> you're, you're, you're opening up your whole life to some other people's interpretation. They're gonna fucking judge you, maybe right, maybe wrong. But they, like you said you have nothing private for yourself anymore. Yeah, the judging part is not the problem. It's just like have some fucking respect for yourself. Like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, keep it a little secret for yeah. yourself. But um, yeah. But yeah. that's one thing, I, Chase, you know this, like, we've talked about it before in, in terms of comedy and, like, the way you put yourself out there. Like, J Jesse's right. Like, you could definitely be a character. Like, you know, Larry the Cable Guy's not, yeah. you know, that's Dan, uh, I forget his last name, but he's, like, a normal guy. That's just a character he does on stage. Yeah. But I've always found that the comics that I like tend to be, whoever's most like themselves on stage is what I go for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I won't name names. There's a comic that, you know, that's, that's out here that I'm friends with. He's like, you know, he's a good looking guy. He, he guy's like a fucking MMA expert, this, that, and this. But then he goes on stage and acts like a confused, yeah. sort of, you know, soft guy. And it's like, that's not who he is, but he's doing that character. And I, I was like, dude, I think it'd be funnier if you just were doing, like, the way you talk, I'll do that on yeah. stage, you know? I mean, he, he'd do it, he or she could do it any way they want. But I found that the comedy that I gravitate more towards, like you said, more authentic. Yeah. You know, it's just like an exaggerated version of yourself. Like, the the, like, point, the, point, the yeah. point I was trying to make, though, is that in that world, it's all about the joke. As long as it's funny, yeah. then it's fun. Like, I'm not looking at a comic to say, is this guy really who he says? It doesn't yeah. matter to me. I just want to laugh. If you're going to make me laugh. Oh, I lie on stage. Yeah, yeah I don't give a shit. I, I'm, I know Chase will do the same shit. Like, well, I'll say whatever it takes to make you laugh. I don't that's give a yeah, shit. That, you know that's... Mean? I mean, to yeah. me, that's how I look at comedy. I, yeah. I don't look at it to be like, is this guy really who he says he is? Like, I don't care. If it's funny, then it's funny. Yeah. So, yeah. Although, people I, yeah, I, I, 
I'm indifferent about that. I, I'm kind of leaning. I'm starting to get a little bit more open to like that. You know, to just, I mean? be, just be more playful on stage, being character. Like, yeah, character yeah, character. yeah, yeah. Because you know, it's just I, 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 I just you know. And not mean, a character, not meaning a clown either. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying yeah. like there's a difference with yeah. that either. You don't want to come off as a clown. Yeah, you go to like, yeah, like, like oh, make, make me laugh. You know, yeah, not make that a fool of yourself. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is also too, the audience is gonna know. Yeah, mm-hmm. they the audience sense is gonna it. know your the audience is gonna know you're a phone. Yeah. Well, I've like, said this before. Like, no comics, no comics, or no comics, or your peers, or anyone like they could tell you like what you should do, what you, this and that, or what you should. Any comics should, can suggest to another comic, hey, I think you should do this because this is that, but. At the end of the day, the audience is going to tell you if yeah. you're, you yeah. know, if you're, like, you know, that. Oh, oh yeah, if you're, if you're authentic in what you're saying. It might not have to be true, but you're, you're authentically presenting your position. Yeah. It's like, I've said right. this before, um, talking about com- comedy audiences. Like, they're kind of like women at the bar. Like, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Mm. If you're full, if, if you're confident, you can s- say whatever you want, and, and, and you'll get, you know, she'll flirt back with you. But, like, if, if you have any hesitation in your voice or in what you're delivering up on stage, the crowd is going to know something's not right, and they get squeamish, and they won't laugh. Yeah. You know, it's harder to make them laugh. But if you go up there and just own your shit, they're like, all right, we're with it. You know, well, he's, he's, he's wilding out. Always wins, yeah, he's, yeah, he's wilding out. It's on him, but we'll laugh, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, also, it's also, at, at, you know, for how long can you keep up that particular character? Yeah. That's the other thing, And try to portray that. You, could, you can do that. You can be the Larry the Cable guy. You can be, like, a person who does different things. But how long can you, how long would that last? Yeah, it's fucking eight specials in his Larry the Cable. I'm like, God damn, I want to stop doing this character. You're like, yeah. I want to do the jokes that I like, not, not the jokes that they want me to write in this character. It's like, who was that comedian who used to walk around with the fucking puppet all the time? Oh, Gallagher, Jeff Dunham? Or what, was it Gallagher? Gallagher was with the mallet. There was Jeff Dunham with I, the puppet. And, uh, yeah, Dunham, Dunham's with the puppet. And yeah, Carrot Top yeah. with, the, with, the, with yeah. the props. Yeah, that's too much, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's like clown <laughs> shit to me. I don't know. That's clown shit. You got to travel with a fucking, with a doll case. Dude, I heard Jeff shit. Dunham's weird about that puppet, too. Like, you got to address the puppet as, a, as like, a person. It's fucking bugged out. Yeah, son. Like, he's, like, he's, like, committed to it. No, Gallagher, too. Then he used to, like, break shit on stage yeah, and so all he that. Yeah, bust okay, the watermelons. Yeah, 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 that's clown the shit. The veg And I remember him. I remember him in his later part of career. I heard, um... But there's a on YouTube. Patrice is talking to him on O and A, and Patrice is just breaking him down, and and he's even saying like he didn't want to do that anymore, but he kind of just got caught into that shit for so long. And Patrice, I forget his name. He found out Patrice found out his real name, and he's like, from now on, you're going by and whatever his name yeah, was. Really. <laughs> he's just killing him the whole show. Well, you know what Gallagher ended up doing? He <laughs> sold that act to his brother, and his brother started touring as Gallagher. He's like, I quit. Crazy. So, he, so he's like, yeah, I wanted. He, he was tired of doing the act. He sold it to his yeah. brother. His brother started touring as him, and he's like, I'm out. Mm-hmm. You know, so, he, so I gave his brother some bread, yeah. got him a whopper money. But like, yeah, it must be exhausting, son, doing that shit. Keeping it's clattering. exhausting. Yeah. Clattering it's around. exhausting. I've seen dudes. I know guys like that. Mm. I've known guys that like they they lean into a particular thing, and then it, yeah, they get. But listen, man, this game is hard. So once that money comes, yeah, people in, do man, what the fuck shit, they got to do to maintain. Yeah, their bread. To make, but <laughs> but you, uh, if I gotta show up. If I got to yeah, show up with props point, to my like, show, it's like, this is a fucking, this is a movie scene at this yeah. point. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is something to be said, though, for the fact that, like, some guys corner the market. Like, Jeff Dunham is the puppet guy. Yeah. Carrot mm-hmm. Top is the prop guy. No one's doing props but Carrot Top because no one gives a shit about props unless you're trying to see Carrot. Like, he cornered that market. Yeah. But then it goes back to what we were talking about in the car the other day. Like, just because you made money doesn't make doesn't make it any good. Yeah, you know, like we like we talked about that chase about how like like oh you know J- you know Jake Paul's corny the fuck the, the corny ass fight he did. He's like yeah, but but he made money. It's like well that doesn't matter. He's still yeah. like, it's you know, like I, I'm gr- I'm glad he's financially sound, but j- just you could still not like the work. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It could still be corny as hell. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. most people yeah. are corny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of corny most motherfuckers people. out there. And then well, it's hard, people it's like hard, that. Pr- it's hard to good. My bad. It's uh. It's hard to be yourself. A lot, you know, full time. Yeah, to, yeah, to be to be genuine and and not like, like if you have a chance to sell out, it's hard to say no. You know what I'm saying? Like someone's like, hey, here's five million dollars, dress up like Larry the Cable Guy. It's like, fuck, man. I <laughs> yeah, it's you know hard. what I'm saying? I, I'm now Larry the Cable Guy. So you know I'm saying like yeah. when they when they putting that money in your face. But at some point, what's the point of having fuck you money if you can't eventually say, ah, oh, fuck off? You're know, like at some point you would have made enough money doing what they want you to do to be like, all right, I'm not doing it anymore. Yeah. I would hope, you know, but to be out there. Especially, pl- especially now these days when you're not rewarded at being authentic as much as before uh, anymore. Yeah. When, yeah when people, not, it matters none anymore, bro. It, it, it matters none. Like you have to do that shit on some self-righteous shit. Like p- people don't give a fuck. Yeah. Nobody cares. Son. Nobody gives a fuck. You know what I mean? And and I was, I was telling you that same day in the car, um, having this conversation. It's like, you know, you look at hip hop, 
And this artist, you know, that whole keeping it real shit. And it's like, keeping it real to who? Like, nobody yeah. nobody gives a fuck. So you kept it real with hip hop. Hip hop doesn't keep it real with you. Yes. This motherfuckers are fickle, son. Nobody cares. You yeah, know what I mean? Right. We had a correction officer being the biggest hip hop artist. Yeah, Rick point. Ross, and right? It was like, just the authenticity of music is gone. But you have to be like, that has to come, that has to be you if if you're maintaining that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you. Yeah. The people don't give a fuck about that. But that shit makes my like skin crawl because we talked about that. Yeah. Like, I watch. I like, can't live on myself. Yeah, looking no. at certain shit. I watch. Dude, I watch. I forget who, what artist was. One of these fucking mumble mouth artists that are out there now. Mm -hmm. You know, and he's like, he was on like, you know, power. Don't make fun of my dad, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that picture you posted, not to get off topic, of your parents sleeping on you when you went to visit them was fucking hilarious. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> His mom was just slouched over. You Yo, know the picture I'm talking no about? One, no one pays attention to me. I look forward to this podcast every week. I know only <laughs> this is out of shine, son. <laughs> it's the only, well, it's the only thing I got. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Don't worry, Chase. I'm, I'm, I'm paying attention on Instagram. Yes, yeah, so you, you, you got to follow. I know you are. I know you are. I like how you do things because you're... Um, I like how you do things. You 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 pay, you you, um, you you pay attention. You don't. You, but it's here. You know. You don't have to like. Yeah. Comment on everything, but you're but you're aware of what's going he's on. Keeping, he's you're keeping he's keeping abreast of the situation. So. I'm watching. I'm lurking. Yeah, when I'm when I'm tripping, <laughs> when I'm, I know when when I'm tripping, you'll you'll say when I I feel like when I go over the deep end, I think Jesse would he he would text me like, "Yo, son, you're tripping." Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like yo, that was that was, sure. a, that was a bridge too far right there. You can't, you, know, you, you out of bounds with that I, one. I think the time that I fell asleep on my live too, that was another one too. That was the best. No, uh, he, he called me up. He's like, yo, you got to check it out. Chase is snoring on Instagram. I live. called Chase to try to wake him up. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, get off alive, bro. <laughs> Straight snoring. Just, and dudes are in the comments just laughing. I'm like, yo, bro, time to you sound have off. no idea. You ha you guys have no idea how happy I was that. The camera fell on the pillow and didn't <laughs> fell on my fucking shriveled up dick. <laughs> <laughs> he was masturbating. <laughs> like, that would have been not good. Son, I was watching him on Instagram Live the other day, like probably two weeks ago. And, you know, he's just mugging for the camera. And someone someone else is on and they typed like, like uh, you know, what's going on? Say something. And Chase's like, fuck, you think I'm here for free entertainment? Like, I'm like, yeah, man, you're on Instagram Live. He <laughs> But that's how he chose to entertain people. That's what I'm you know saying. What I'm saying? Yeah, he no. wanted a mug. I know, but I said he, he wanted, wanted to talk. Chase wanted to mug. But the guy was like, "Say something." He's like, "Nah, I'm not here for your amusement." Yeah. Like, then why are you on? <laughs> he like yelled at the one other guy in the room. <laughs> Fuck it, you should have blocked him. So get out of here. <laughs> Fuck out of here. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, throwing, I'm throwing block parties this year, son. <laughs> Black parties. Everybody's getting the fuck out. Oh, <laughs> got time oh, for that we, bullshit, we get, son. Oh yeah, yeah. We can get, we can get, it, dude, We can get into that. I preemptively block people. I'm now. a tumbo. Like, I'm a tumbo in that shit, come motherfucker. On, son. Everybody's right invited to the block party. Come through. Yeah. <laughs> dude, people go to war in my comments with my followers about some joke I post. I'm like, just, it's like, why are you to argue with them? Block, son, and then all that comments disappear. I'm like, That's see, it. just like that. <laughs> Gone. Make it harder. Make them start a whole new page. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how I forgive you. You start a whole new page and follow me again. Start yeah. over. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Start over. Fresh start. You. Fresh start. <laughs> yeah. yeah we, I don't know, man. People are just, they need to just relax and get over this shit, you know? Yeah. Well, they take themselves too seriously on social media a lot of times. Everyone's on, on some fucking movement. It's like, bro, I'm here. I'm telling dick jokes at strip malls. What the yeah. fuck you think? I, like, you're coming to me for fucking, you know, you, is this what you really think? I'm like, I don't think about anything. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm fucking here. To, I'll say whatever you want to make you laugh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll, I'll lie to you. People yeah. come up there after the show. I was like, oh, is that for real? I'm like, well, it started somewhere real, and obviously the punchline didn't yeah. actually happen. Yeah. You know, the jokes I talk about, you know, uh, mom or, you know, you're marrying a younger guy, whatever. Like, that happens. Like, yeah, but the conversation didn't go Wasn't, down. Like, right, the, right, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's an idea I got from life, right. and then I made it funny. Yeah. You know, the actual circumstances, you know, what went down, mm -hmm. you know? I think they, I think a lot of times when people, like, ask that, they're not asking the right question. They're, they're, so I think more they're asking kind of, like, they kind of want more. Yeah. Instead well, of they, I, I you know, like that it happens because it means that they're listening, that they're paying attention, and they're invested. Like, was that for real? People also, My good, you're fucking paying attention. You people know what I'm also just want to talk and don't know how to fucking start a conversation. So it's yeah. like, they're like, oh, Randy from Instagram, and they want to, and they just don't know how to go about yeah, you know, introducing themselves, and it's like, oh, was that real? Yeah, I almost never get recognized, but it happened in Arizona. It's like, hey, you're the guy. I'm like, what? <laughs> the, the Randy from the thing. I'm like, I guess. Yeah, it happened yesterday with that. Oh yeah, with that, with that uh, girl. The, yeah, the, uh, at the bar. Um, but it's but it is weird that they have like a, a perceive like a perception of you. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, but I'm fucking joking. Like, it's not. 
I'm yeah. not writing that chapter in verse. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not. Yeah, yeah. You know I'm. Yeah, yeah but let's not let's not like scale though. The words do mean words. Oh are yeah, 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 yeah. I mean the general. Obviously, the vibe of what I'm putting out there is. But no individual joke is meant. Like I'm not like making a political statement. Yeah. You know. Yeah, of course. I, the things I joke about, you get a sense of my humor on following the page. But any one joke, it's like this is what you believe. Like no, it's not. I just fucking wrote it because I thought it'd be funny. It sounded funny. Right. You know. Yeah. Is that you know, um, Jesse? When you when you when you um, when you make your music, do you think about any of these things? Or are you kind of just in no. that free space and you're just doing whatever? The, what, what's that at that time? No, I like to consider myself a tastemaker. So I make what the fuck I like, and then hopefully other. You gotta understand, most people don't know what the fuck they like either. It's true. You know what yeah. I'm saying? There's a lot more people who don't know what they, they just listen to what the fuck is being played. And if this is the new hot song in the summer, that's what they're riding to. So there's a lot of that going on. So I always start with making what I like and hopefully other people like it. And if not, then, you know. That's whatever. true. Then you think, man, the whole idea that people don't know what they like until you tell them. You have to. You know what yeah, I'm saying? You have like, to tell them. You know, people didn't fucking like Yeezys. You're going to tell me people like wearing Yeezys? Sneakers? It looked like the, shit, son. But somebody said, his Kanye, slides, have you seen, said this is what, yeah. what, yeah, he's suing Walmart behind that bullshit. You see you those see slides? That? They yeah. look like Crocs. But even that, when did motherfuckers get so comfortable in America where they're walking around with Crocs? Yes, yeah, son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, like open toe fucking slides wasn't enough. Yeah. Now in 91, got, I got my ass whipped yeah, walking son, around Ridgewood like that, son. Son, <laughs> man, you, you got a scrap real quick, you scrap it with Crocs on? <laughs> I can't get no grip with that. That shit out of here, bro. <laughs> Running with rubber clogs on your feet. <laughs> I'm saying that shit is crazy. Yo, the fucking the level yeah, you're over the, the cops and, crocs. and clocks. <laughs> water shoes. They're water shoes. Yes. What the fuck is walking around with water shoes? The crazy. level of the level of disrespect of the lack of drip to the airport is amazing. Oh my Yo, god. Yo, they're all over the airport, bro. They walk around like animals yeah, out there, man. Yeah. They got animals. they got like, pins on them. They're dressing them up. They got pins on them now and shit. Yeah, they're flo- Yeah, they're styling their Crocs. But that's what I'm saying. Like somebody did that and was like, "This is what we're doing," and everyone followed. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like they didn't. You can't tell me somebody who's wearing it. They can't say, "Yo, these shit to fly." Look at these. Like, no, you can't say that about those. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. You don't about like the- that. You just. I know, and that's what I was gonna say about the music nowadays. Like I said, there was, there was some hip hop artists. I don't know, you know, fucking. Mm-hmm. Like I said a couple of these mumble mouth rappers. And they were like doing a freestyle, which wasn't. They had a fucking piece of paper in front of them at like Power One or whatever here. And it's like some like I don't know he must have been like half Mexican or some some dorky look like a dorky white guy mm. and like doing the bee 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 and he's yeah. just, oh I'm like that shit is terrible son yeah, yeah. if I was him I'd be like yo cut that out so we're going to, uh, you know, that shit throw is like, track and and not even just let him go with that but somebody at the end has to be like son that shit was trash yeah so, so, like <laughs> yo you got to go a little harder than that like you yo, know just. You know, Nobody knows how to be honest no yeah, more. Yeah, you know no one said, hey, you got, that wasn't the best joke in the world right yeah, there. I got to work on you that. You got to bring booing motherfuckers back. So yeah. you know, boo, <laughs> yes. get shit the fuck out of here. Get shit the fuck out of here. Yeah, so we're talking about that. <laughs> bring <laughs> shame back. I, yeah. Shame yeah. a motherfucker. Son. Exactly. More shame, son. I exactly. want more shame in the world. You should be ashamed of yourself I, uh, for doing that shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was in a car. I was in a car with Jeff one time. And uh, in his, well, I was in a car with Jeff and he's in his Jeep and he was playing some music and, uh, and he was like, oh, Randy, he's always listening to like this, like, like this. He's always trying to get me to listen to this, like, funk shit. And like, he's like, I don't get it. I'm like, you don't fucking get it? Yeah, son. It's, like, it's rhythm. I was, like, yeah, I was, I was just going to say, not everybody has rhythm, Chase. I was saying, it's I'm rhythm, saying? son. It's, yeah, yeah, Je- <laughs> no, I mean, rhythm, Jeff, son. It's, Jeff's got a lot of things going for himself. But, Jeff's got, all right. Rhythm ain't one of them. He got listen, a lot of things. Listen to what you just said. Soul, son. Not everybody got it's soul, soul. You don't have to have rhythm. It's yeah. soul. Chase, have, it's uh, like, and that's not to say Jeff don't have soul, but I'm just saying, like, some people don't have that, son. Like, I'll say it. Jeff's got a lot of things. Go- Jeff's got a beautiful life and a lot of things going for himself, but he doesn't know funk from his asshole, son. But you got you, know you, like, you got to remember the, you got to remember a lot of time where some of these people start from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I mean he's a, he's a you know he's a corny white guy from Seattle. Yeah. I mean like you know that's it, he shouldn't have soul. He's right. into the Google Dolls. Be that you know like right. nah 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 nah. I ain't blind that. Nah. <laughs> you gotta let yeah no nah, no. Nah. I gotta train nah. him. We gotta train Jeff. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Eric Clapton was, you know, same way. He had soul. Oh, you know, it yeah, doesn't matter. True. It true. doesn't matter. Like, you know, John Lennon had soul. It doesn't matter your color, bro. It's it's a matter of experience. No, yeah, it's not a color. My mother got more yeah. soul than most yeah. people I've ever met in my life. Yeah. I got my soul from her, and that's a white woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, she was one playing, She was one playing all the 70s jams. And, she, yeah. yeah, she got the bangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She got the bangers. Right, right. <laughs> but I know what you're saying, Randy, though. I know, I know what you're saying, though. Yeah. But that's the thing. I'm mean, like... Like I said, you got to bring shame back because because people uh, people got too comfortable with being polite, mm-hmm. where it stifles them being better than they can be. Yeah, they're better than they already are. 
So it's like, like, like oh, you're fat shaming, this shaming, that shaming. It's like, you should be ashamed if you're not taking care of yourself. It's like, That's the stupid. Oh, don't, you know, don't, you know, don't make fun of me for this. For my, for, don't make fun of me for my beliefs. I'm like, no, no, no. I can't make fun of you for your skin color or your sexual orientation. But if you believe something stupid, you can bet I can make fun of you for that. Because yeah. you chose to believe that. You know what I'm saying? There's other facts in the world that you just overlook to believe some dumb shit. So I'm going to judge you on that. Big, like, is, big is not beautiful. Big is unhealthy. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, no, like I told it's, you, it's that like, whole fucking... Yeah, like I told Chase, specifically on the fat shaming thing. Like, look, I worked in... The, uh, my last job was working with plus-size women. Mm. But there's a difference between that and if, you gotta, and if your weight starts with a three. Unless yeah. you're Shaquille O'Neal, you should not weigh 300 pounds, man. Like, I get it. Some people have different body types. Yeah. But you're not, anything over 300 pounds, it's like, bro, you're trying to kill yourself. You got to take care of yourself. You know, like, Listen, I, I just, worry about I just, your health then. You know, like, yeah, your, yeah. your heart hurts, son. Yeah. So, two, I want to make two points to that. One, I just got into a little, I want to say altercation, but it was more of like a. Oh, here we go. It's and, fucking. And, <laughs> no, it was like an argument with a friend of mine. And she called me on some, like, you know, she was very depressed about her weight. And I just said, Listen, you. You just gotta, you just gotta work out. You just gotta get up and like eat right and, and better and have better time management. Yeah, but who got the and time for that? Right? I'm sorry, <laughs> but who got the time for that? You know, it's like, well, it's your health. If you don't have time for your health, you got time for nothing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but you know me, Randy. I'm pretty like I don't, I don't sugarcoat it, man. I'm one of these guys. Like I'm, I'm no, giving it to you. The like, thing I'm is not this: gonna... if, if you're not like yo, like you said, everybody got different body set. I'm, I'm a big guy myself, but like. I'm conscious of what the fuck I'm yeah, doing. I not, can't sit here and complain if I'm not doing anything about it. Like, yes. Go exactly. fucking take a walk. Like, Chase talks about that yo, all the time. The sorry. information is available. Figure out what you need to be eating. Like, change your fucking diet up. Go walk. Look at Do my, some, yeah, guys, start look somewhere. At me. No, he talk, you, 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 you talked about that last week, example. Chase. About, yeah, exactly. No, but you talked about that last week. It's like, yo, the last two weeks, you're like, I'm, I'm talking to friends, and they ask me for their, my advice, and I give them my advice, and they get upset. It's like, why the fuck are you asking me for the advice? And it's like, yeah. you know the information's right. You said the information's right there. If you don't want to hear it, you don't want to hear it. I'm not going to, like, I, yeah. you know, that's on you now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 Jesse's but don't right. make excuses for your laziness. Like, yeah. big is beautiful. No, it's not. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, if, you, if that's your choice, and that's fine, but don't fucking make excuses about it all, yeah. or try to make a slogan to justify yeah. your fucking laziness. Yeah, exactly. It's like, no, you're just lazy. Exactly. Like, My favorite is, I've told, I've told Chase, I like when I see like a big, fat, obese person just smoking a cigarette. I'm like, yeah, they're leaning into it. They, they know, they know they're, they're, they're redlining their life. And they're like, at, at, least, at least they're not complaining. They're not the one out there talking about, oh, I wish I was thinner. It's like, no, it's like, I'm fat, I'm going to smoke the cigarette, eat this you know, cheese Danish and die early. I'm saying like they own they own their decision to be overweight and to be unhealthy. Son, it's the person that I see every day in New York who pulls their mask down to smoke a cigarette and puts their mask right back up. Yes. Like what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? Like it's just it's that's a yes, sickness, right. bro. Like you, that's some that's some mental shit you got yeah. going on. It's, over it's, it's, it's always the one. It's always the one who I'm not getting the I'm not getting the vaccine. Yeah. But then they have a cheeseburger from McDonald's. Like, bro, you know what's in that? I told you. Yeah. My, my man told me the other day something about the vaccine. I told him I'm fully vaccinated. And uh, he was like, oh, you're bugging for that. He's telling me this while he's smoking a Newport. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> he's bugging. Um, uh, yeah, I had to learn the hard way. You know what I'm saying? In regards to the, in, in regards to the weight, you yeah. know? Like, Randy, like, I mean, me and Randy's hung out, like, many, many times, many years. So he, he, knew, he knew my eating habits, you know, all that shit, right? Yeah. So, but there were times where he'd be like, Yo, man, you, you're gonna eat another ice cream? Like, come on. Yeah, like, son. He wouldn't. He wouldn't say like, "Don't like, come eat on. it." He no, would I'm say, saying, it's like, "Yo, you're gonna lose a foot if you have another milkshake." You know, I'm like, All right, yeah. I'll, I'll, "I'll skip this one. I'll skip this one." So it took. It took like many of those to be like, "All right, this guy, I gotta, I gotta do something about this shit because I, 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 I am fat and I don't feel good. It is affecting the way I think. It is mm -hmm. affecting my, my certain your mood. Productivity. Yeah, you're, get, mood, you're getting mood. older. You know what I'm saying? So this, That's shit, the other this thing shit matters, too. Yeah. bro. You gotta start taking care of yourself now. And the other thing is like. It's it's when it's too late that people start feeling bad for the person. Like, oh yeah, man, I should have said something. So at least, like, people will just watch you stuff your face all day and not say nothing, and then miss you when you're gone. But it's like, did anybody step up and say something? Yes, yeah, somebody got to say something. Yeah. You know oh I mean? God forbid! God forbid! God for fucking bit <laughs> that people take constructive criticism. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's what you were talking about the other last two weeks. Like, people are like, oh, they ask you a question, you give them an honest answer, and they're like, I don't like that answer. Like, why would you ask a question? Yeah. The fuck is wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? Like, you came to me. You're like, hey, should I do this? Yes or no? Yeah. And, and they don't let. But the, you're right. You got to take care of yourself. And this other thing too. Like, no one has. To, not, not everyone has to be the rock, son. A little bit. A little no, something. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you, Chase. Chase, you lost 15 pounds. It's fucking great, man. That's, you know, that's more than. Wait, 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 wait. How much did I lose? 15. How much you lose? Oh, come on, son. Don't come on, son. Well, come this on, is a couple 30, 30, 36 pounds, B. There you go, oh, son. There you go. That's what I'm saying. And you're not and, and you're not fucking, you know, you're not 
you know, fucking Tay Diggs over here quite yeah. yet. <laughs> but it don't matter. Yo, it's but the heart, son. But that's it. Trying to keep yeah. your heart right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, just trying to stay alive. You so. don't got to be all fucking brolic. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm just trying to. It takes time, man. Yeah. It takes yeah. time. Just like you know, your physical formation and your mental formation. If it, yo, it takes time to evolve, man. People want it yeah. so fast. They yeah. want to take surgery. They want to do this. It's like it has to be. I, I'll be rude to you guys. Lazy. I, I don't know. But also dangerous to go else. to get surgery. When you I don't, don't need know. it. Yeah. You know, I don't know wrong. anything. I don't know anything else but to do it hard. Everything like I, I can't do things easy. Yeah. I need things to it's be more, hard for me to it's learn. Rewarding. And no, it's but rewarding, but yeah, but, but also those are the gains that that last longer with you when you when you do them the hard way because it builds character. It builds character, and it's not just the gains of that. Like mm-hmm. I notice that, like with my mental health, like when I'm in a bad mood, I work out more because it makes me physically feel better, and then it helps your mental thing. And the thing is, it, like hard work pays off in ways that you don't know. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like if you if you're working hard towards a goal, other th- doors will open up that you never even considered while you're on that path. Yeah, because good things happen to people who do good. But you yeah. also build that callus, like yeah, that that's exactly. to keep going. Exactly, yeah, and exactly. Do different shit that you didn't know that. Yeah, you know that. If I that, could do this, I didn't know I could do that. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, you exactly. gotta set that discipline for yourself and and get shit done. And like you were saying, um, like with your mental health and all that shit, like. Your gut and your mental align. So it's like if you're fucking eating all that garbage, son, you're not thinking clearly. You're not making better decisions. Your brain, you're running around with brain fog all day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like all that shit is a, is aligned with each other. You know what I mean? So you got to make sure you take care of all of that shit. Yeah. And and I just so it's good that you lost thirty six pounds, man. That's Congrats. great, man. That's fucking great. Yeah, man. I, I feel you know I, I had I had to do it. I had to do it. And and primarily, it felt really good over the weekend because I finally fit. Into my maroon, my maroon corduroy pants, son. Nice. Man. Oh, that's what. <laughs> nice, son. We need that. We need chasing maroon corduroy pants, son. Yeah, son. Yeah, I was hot as shit. My balls was hot, but it was we fine. Ch- yeah, he's wearing corduroy in the ninety-nine degree heat in Boston right now. Fuck it, son. Wear that shit around the crib. Just wake up and put that shit on, son. You'll feel good. You know, what I'm if whatever makes you feel good, son. <laughs> 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 yeah, I wonder if Chase had abs. I wonder, like, what? What? Would, I mean, obviously, I know you, you and your white linen suits you love. But if you had abs, like, I wonder what his style would be. Like, how his style? Yeah. Chase would be walking around shirtless all day. <laughs> all day. He's son. wearing linen all pants, day. open toes, and fucking and no shirt no all shirt. day. And, a, <laughs> and that bald head is gonna be shining, son. <laughs> Waxing that what? motherfucker. Yo, glistening, son. Glistening. On de- for no reason, glistening. In the morning, it's glistening. I know, son. It's, it's, people, people, people really love the... the what, what, when I asked Chase about what plastic surgery you get, people really love that his response was a forehead, forehead reduction. reduction. I'm like, you mean, why don't you just hair transplant? It's like, oh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Think of that. <laughs> He's like, right now your forehead goes from your eyebrows to the back of your neck. <laughs> I'm usually a fast forward thinker, but not when it comes to my head. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Chase is walling out. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> well, now that we got a break, I actually wanted to thank, real quick, uh, thank you to Hyenas in Dallas. Had a great weekend out there, Chase. Oh, you got to get to Dallas, my friend. You like, I'm there next time. You, you I like, promise you, you I'll like be there bitches. next time. There's plenty of them in Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Texas, I mean, they, you know, they're fucking heavy in Texas. You like them. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, I, you know. I, why I, wear I like my cowboy hats? Forget about it, son. <laughs> Chase is going to lose oh, his yeah. mind, son. <laughs> Chase <Yeah. laughs> He's missing that flight. No, I'm going to be real with you. I'm at, I'm at the place in my life right now where I just want to buy a t- Toyota Tacoma truck and listen to Garth Brooks in linen pants. So. Garth, Brooks, <laughs> Garth Brooks in linen. <laughs> I, Chase should, honestly, Chase should just make a music video. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> Chase, can we, I'll get that done for you. Yes, I'll son. get that done for you. We, yo. We're going to talk some. We're going to make a fucking, we're going to do like a parody song. Something. Yes, a parody song. Yes. And fucking, it, I'll write oh, it and for you. Yeah, we'll he'll write it together. Trap it up. Yes, I don't thirst trap it up. Throw the jokes. We'll get it in rhyme form and we'll fucking, we'll do a series. Oh, we can do video. that. that we should, can do that, right? That shit will be son. huge, son. Yeah. That, Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me, son? That shit get done immediately. Just, oh, man. Just let's remake talk. a baby face fun. song. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yo, that's it. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a remake, son, of a, of, we'll a, a, remake, of an old banger, son. Uh, Randy, Randy, Randy just got the writing credit, so make sure he gets yeah, nah, that. Yeah, that was it right there. We'll re- son, redo some Keith Sweat. Yes, Chase. Yeah, yes, Keith Sweat, son. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Gill, something. <laughs> yo, Joe, Joe, Joe is bald, so you could do Joe. We could do, yo, 
No, I'm serious. Oh, yeah. I really want to build on that because that'd be fucking that'd be hilarious. That'd, that, that's with some your, shit that could go viral. Your, that'd be funny. With your cocoa butter skin, yeah. I can't wait till I get in yeah. your body. Yeah. <laughs> so come to the studios and we got it. Let's do it. Chase dancer. We gotta got, we gotta get the white linen suit though. We could get that. We could get that yeah. a thrift shop. Yeah. What are you talking about? I got four right now. Don't yeah. play. You're, you're trying to fit in them, son. He bought them in smaller sizes so when he gets lean, he's, he's like, I'm, that's, that's that's my one at 200 pounds. That's my one at 185. That's the one at the front of the closet when he opens the shit. He wants to see it yeah. the first thing every day. It gives him motivation. He lays it out in his bed like the first day of school, son. And he sleeps next to it. <laughs> You spray that shit with cologne every day, right, Chase? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, you don't spray it on it. You got to spray it in the air you gotta and you got to let the clothes go right into it. Right. You got to walk it. into it. You got to walk, walk into it. <laughs> yeah, it's got a hint of lime. It's a fucking hint of cologne. <laughs> hint of lime. He's treating his cologne like LaCroix and shit. <laughs> That's funny. You know, just, what it is. You, know. you know what it is. You know what it is. The ones, the ones that I, the, the clothes that I can't fit into, though, I just tell chicks that um, I'm in fight camp, so it takes time. Oh yeah, so yeah, <laughs> that's, that's 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 when I'm in my my training days. I'm, I, I get those on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, before, so, we get too, uh, before we go too long, I actually wanted to ask right. Jesse about because uh, he it came at an opportune time. You got uh, an album you produced coming out next week, right? And you got another project in the works. Yep. Let's, um, let's plug that before we forget. Mothra. Uh, it's my boy Starker. For people who know Starker, I produced a whole album for him. It's called Mothra. It's coming out July 10th. Um, we just secured a, a nice vinyl deal on that, so we'll have that available on vinyl as well. Um, and August 1st, uh, Lord Prezi, my boy Prezi, one half of the honors class. You he, met Prezi. We did the podcast with him last time, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, Prezi, produced, uh, yeah. I produced the album for him. It's called Oh Lord, and we're going to drop that, I believe, August 1st. So nice. Very yeah, nice. Those are lined up, and I'm working on something of my own that – Will be out another new later, project. Yeah, later, yeah, I mean, but... you've been pumping out a lot of albums lately. Quarantine yeah, was good for you, son. Quarantine was real good for you. It's funny. I just, I just, I'm. I thought I was about seventy percent done with this new album, and I was driving to Kelly's house, driving upstate the other day, and I just had fucking an epiphany, whatever you want to call that shit. I'm. I was just thinking. I was like, this isn't it. You know what I'm saying? Like I was listening to the yet? beat. Yeah. I have to start over. Like I may keep one or two out of what I thought was going to be the project, but yeah. production wise. I, I gotta, I gotta switch it up. How does, how does that work in music versus comedy? Because like, like when we write jokes, I, I won't speak for Chase, but I speak for myself. Like, like you think the joke. I don't done. write jokes. You know that. I know you exactly. Son. <laughs> you live a joke. Son. <laughs> <laughs> Chase, Chase's you, whole life is a freestyle. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> everything's. I just say things consciously, and things just form to punchlines. No, I, I told him. I told him. You, you I, just showed up on this screen right now. I don't. You don't even know how you got there. You yeah, Chase just showed up. On I, no, the I told him years ago when we started the podcast. I was like, like, what do you want me to do? Like, what are we talking about this week? He's like, just show up, son. Do we, like, yeah, yeah. I don't want you thinking about anything before yeah. you get on the microphone. <laughs> And if, yo, I'm telling you from the beginning, it made the fucking dynamic that yeah, much it's better. Like, like, it's like I'll, I'll do the, I'll do the fucking yeah. organization of what we're gonna talk about. You just sit there and answer. Like, show up, <laughs> show up, just show up, Chase. Yeah, say, say whatever comes to your mind. It's gonna be the best thing you said. Like, <laughs> Randy, I showed up on time today. Too. Oh, you did, yeah. Well, I, I gave him two days' notice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you gotta give him forty oh, hours notice. Give me credit. <laughs> I did just give you credit. I yeah. know, oh, but I was gonna ask you, like, how does so, like, at least when I'm writing jokes, like. You think it's done, but then you could always tag it with something else or something different. But it's, since you're doing it every night and it's a live art form, it's not like I put it on wax and it's fucking done. Yeah. So I could I could keep the joke alive. But how does that work in music to know like, oh, this is this album's now done or this song is now done. It's or never done. I want to add this track or I had to get used to that shit because for me, it's it's never done. Even when it's out and it's on streaming already or whatever, it's like I, I could always hear something. I'm like, oh, I could have this, could have did that. But um, yeah, I mean. I guess feeling, that's yeah. how I go off it. Everything for me is, it's the vibe, Chase, right? Like you said earlier. It's, it's vibes. It's, it's the vibes. I hate that fucking vibe. I know. But but it's that. Like, you just feel it and you're like, all right, well, I can live with this. If I put this out in the world, I, I can you look back in 10 years and yeah. I'll be happy with it still. Yeah. So that's just kind of how I, how I gauge it now. But, I mean, I could yeah. always, as a producer even, like, I could always find something that I could have added or I could have tweaked or, and you know, even mixing wise, where it's like, oh, the vocal could have been a little higher in this area, little shit like that. But again, I, I also realized that the common ear, the listener doesn't hear that. That's what, you know I'm, what I'm saying. saying? I was like, I don't hear, f I mean, it's, yeah. it, it all sounds fine to me. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and I was gonna ask, you, I, I agree with him. I agree with Jess. That's, that's, a, that's, that's awesome. That's great. Mm -hmm. And then, do you, I don't know if I've ever asked you this before, do you like making beats more than you like rhyming? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know you do both. I, mean, I don't know what you prefer. Yeah. Um, and what you started with. I don't know if you started with one and went to the well, other. Well, the reason why I, I would say 
I started, I mean, I've been rapping way longer than, I, than I've been making beats uh -huh. and producing and shit, but um, I've come to love, I think, making beats more because that's what gets the writing going. Like, if I make a fucking bang, like, yeah. you know, the, the song Farmer's Joint, when we were on the text that day and I made that beat, I was like, holy shit. Like, I knew. Yeah. And then it just, it, it makes the writing process that much more easier. But <clears throat> I also can't just keep writing. Like, I'm not one of those people who like, all right, I finished this album, now I can just go on to the next one. Like, I need to live to yeah, write. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just talking at that. Like, you, I could just say anything, and I don't want to just say anything. I want to say shit that means yeah. something, and that I can look back on and be like, okay, I remember that time. I remember that headspace I was in. But, um, I mean, I love making beats, because as, as an artist, which I am before anything, a, a writer and an artist, when you hear a fucking beat that's just banging, you're like, So the beat's oh, man, the start of it. That yeah. fucking, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah I, lo I love, I, I definitely love producing. And now that I'm putting out, you know, I'm producing whole albums for other artists, and we spoke about this on the first episode I did with you guys, mm. like the difference between beat making and producing. Like I really tapped into the whole producer thing now working with these other artists, like, okay. because I know the way that they would work on their own. But then when you step in, it's <clears> like, <throat> say this line over or, you know, I'm going to add a drop on this to emphasize what you're saying here and, yeah. and all these little things. And just knowing, having an ear for that, that texture in their voice to say this type of production will sound dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, uh, under that texture. Like, that's a whole thing that really I get into. And then a lot of times, Prez could, could attest to this. Like, he'll come by, we'll do joints, and he'll, you know, at this times, well, he'll just leave me with some verses. And by the time he comes back, it's like a whole fucking, it's like, oh, shit. Like, you turn yeah. this into a solid add a little ad libs here and you know work on a hook here and do this yeah, and yeah, that yeah. And, and really just like bring the you whole build shit this, together you build the song around build the it. whole thing together yeah that process i think i've i've i'm liking a lot more and i, I want to do more of but there's not many artists i respect so i'm limited like with the artists that i work with because I, yeah. I if you see me producing an album for somebody i respect what they what they bring to the table i respect the would you ever like work. just sell a beat like like I, I just, a lot of people keep telling me that because people want that shit yeah. and that's the thing is like that's what Parrish is gonna tell you tomorrow i like, usually sell the beats so i usually his, listen to people's shit and i'm like i don't really like that shit so like this is my new thing this is what i think i'm that's gonna do you also sell them to some crap beats. Like, I, I don't like this beat but you like it Hit, take no, this no, piece no, no. i'll do i'll keep all my good beats for my own work no no it's not even that uh, though you could do that, <laughs> no 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 it's not it's not even that thing like my new thing is this for artists that I don't really respect or I don't really fuck with their shit, like, I'll sell the beat for the money, but don't give me the credit. Like, I don't want credit. Oh, I don't okay. want my name attached to that shit. Or okay. I'll do some shit like an alias and, you know, a ghost some, some, or whatever yeah, kind of, of disguise yeah. my whole shit and yeah. make an alias name and just put it under there because I don't want to attach my brand and my name to, like, to some, some shit that I, that I don't really yeah. fuck with. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so, creative, so, creative, so creative control is, like, very it's significant to you. It's everything. Yeah. Like I need to, I, I, yeah, son. That shit is everything for me because I ha again I have to live with that shit. Yo, there's 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 times where like er early tracks that I did with certain people. Like I've been making music for years before I actually started putting music out for people to hear, and it's for that reason. Like I, yet, I always yeah. had that that you're open micing basically. It's like I, this shit ain't right, but I've t I'm I'm getting but started. Some but some people don't realize it's like graffiti, right? Like when I wrote graffiti when I was younger, and, and even still to this day, once like. Some people don't know, like, yo, keep that shit in the black books, and that shit ain't ready for the streets yet. Nobody wants that eyesore on a wall. That shit is horrible. Like, <laughs> yeah. get your shit right, get yeah. your letters right, get your style right before you start branching out because people, you're giving that to people, and I don't want to give people bad art. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, that's, it's, yeah. I, I get that. You know, what I also found interesting is what you said about writing, like, that you need to breaks, because that's how I am. Dude, I go and... There'll be fucking months where I won't write anything new, but I'm just working, doing the act that I have, and like doing the stage performance part of it. And then, you know, then like quarantine, like, you know, from like May to July, I was writing a fuck ton. And yeah. then like the second half of quarantine, nothing. But then I started performing. But like, the, the, it'd be like peaks and valleys. It'd be, it'd be big droughts. Well, that's, that speaks to the level of authenticity we were talking about earlier. Like, that's, those are people who are coming from an authentic place. Cause I mean, I could sit here and write some imaginary shit. I could do that right now. Like, I'll write a whole song right now, some imaginary shit. But for me, it just feels better when it's, like, people who really know me, like, my friends, my girl, whoever, like, people that know me, when they hear that shit, they're like, oh, wow, like, he, I remember having that conversation with him, mm -hmm. and, and he, he had that point. I can't believe he, he made that into, you know, he used that thought in a song somewhere. Like, yeah, you have to, to me, I like doing that more, because I feel, I, I like to make it a little more personal. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. I, I just I just didn't know that's how it worked for like a for like a songwriter. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I mean, I, I bet all, all writers probably go through that. But some uh, dude, some people just write constantly, which I don't. Yeah. You know, like fucking Jeff will be all day with this shit. I'm like, fuck, man. Dude. It's like, but it's, sometimes I feel like you're forcing it. Like, like there'll be jokes I post on Instagram. I'm like, that's just me forcing a joke because I got to get one out every day. But like, this shit ain't this shit's yeah. garbage, son. But like, all oh, the people like this, you know, eat my asshole and blah. And then, you know, like, yeah. But if, if we, mm-hmm. like you said, it, it feels like it feels forced. It feels forced like I don't yeah. like it, and then they like, and then I get angry that they like it. You know, it's like that's not that wasn't a good joke. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like, but I was like, oh well, we, you know, you did it again. I'm like, this is not, but this is not a good one. Yeah. And then the other jokes that I like that they fucking hate. And I'm like, you guys don't know how good this one is. So like, yeah. read it again. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta. Just, sometimes I'll write even if it's not a rhyme. Like I'll just write some. Shit no, I do that like too. Thoughts. Or, no, I do that too. You just keep a journal. And just write. Just get put shit down on paper. It's always good. Yeah. Yeah. Because you never know what comes out of it. You know. And <clears throat> even write like, um, you know, texting gets a bad rap, but like texting is good when you're having like a like a good conversation with somebody that you respect over text, and it's like a brain exercise in a way too because you're like. You're trying to really get that point across and what you're trying to say in writing that text. Like, yeah. If you're texting with your girl, if you're texting with your boy, you know, like a, like a Saul, you know, like yeah, go I, back. I, a lot of things people like, I'll write that down. That's funny. I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll write that and, down. Yeah. You'll go back and forth. I text with you. We'll go back and forth yeah. with shit. And like, yeah, points come out of it. Like, that's how the whole Farmers Joint album yeah. happened. Yeah, we it was over in the fucking text. van. Yeah, it was yeah. a group text. No, it was the group text with uh, me, you, and Saul yeah. during quarantine. And he mentioned something about uh, back in the day, you smoking a farmer's joint. Yeah. And I was like, that's a great line. Joint. I was like, wow. I was like, yo, and I, I matter of fact, I got to go back to that text. I know I still have it. And I said, yo, that name alone just rang the in name, my head because I was great, like, yeah. yo, that sounds like a brand. And I started building on it from there. And again, that that came from a regular text conversation of writing. So, you know, there's inspiration and everything, man. And you have to keep writing if you're a writer, even if it's yeah. not, you know. But that's crap. the thing, it gets hard. I mean, like, forcing it, though. Sometimes, like, it really is, like, trying to push a fucking stone up a hill. It's like, it's, it ain't going nowhere. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, but you'll know that. Yeah. You'll know that when it's done, when you're done writing it. But the point was, the attempt was there. You attempt, yeah. you already started it. But you'll know for yourself, I can't, I can't put this out. This ain't it. But the attempt was there. You did it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You started something. That is that. That's, I guess that goes to the, the discipline part of it, mm-hmm. you know? Because there'll be times, like, shit, even going on stage, Chase, I'll be fucking... Like damn, I'm not in the mood to go anywhere tonight. I'm like, fuck, I got to get out of the house. Otherwise, you yeah. know, you lose that muscle, like you atrophy. Yeah, it's like going to the gym when you don't want to go to the gym. It's like fuck. Even if you have a shitty workout, it's better than not. You know what, what I'm saying? Like what? in some ways, it's better than. I'm saying like, oh, I, I only did 30 minutes on a treadmill. It's, like, it's better than sitting on your ass for 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I get that at times too. And then, but one thing I've always noticed is that I always feel better walking out that shit. It's like yeah. you say to yourself like, oh man, I'm fucking glad I came. You know what I'm saying? Like you woke up not wanting to come and. Telling yourself I could have done all these other things. Oh, I got laundry. I got this and yeah. that. But you get up, you push yourself, you do it, and then when you leave, you're like, oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought. I'm glad I fucking. Came well, yeah. Well, usually yeah. I say, I, like, I, I, I thought like I got it done. I did something. Right. Because I did something. Like, right. The day's not wasted because I went and did did it. Yep. yep. Yeah. All those things are gonna help because as as you do what if as you do these things like longer and longer, it just gets harder. Yeah, for sure. You know, it gets it gets more harder. You know, so you. You have to appreciate like the the little things that you do each day because that's what's gonna make you that that's what's gonna make you alive to keep going. Right. You know. So, um, yeah, man, the whole creative process. Everyone has their own way of of their own creative process, and uh, but um, I think everyone can relate to one thing, and that's just like just be consistent. That's the only thing you can control. Yeah. It's just like just be, just be consistent, and then hopefully things work out and if they don't work out just be happy with that too make, make, just make sure you're having fun but that's the thing though i feel like if, even if they don't work out hard work like i said like something else will pop up right you know what i'm saying right. like like i never yeah. thought i'd get into comedy but it happened because i was getting out of that uh, out of that engagement i was like all right i gotta go meet women let me go to the bar so i went to the bar met this girl her sister was an open micer she brought me to a show that you were at chase mm-hmm. i met you i met jeff you guys talked me into doing comedy and now i'm doing comedy this thing i didn't know that that was going to be the case you know, but you put that one positive step forward and things start to happen for you. Yeah. You know, and I'm not right. one of these fucking positivity guru jerk offs that fucking, you know, grind hard, all this bullshit. Mm. I just think, you know, hard work pays off eventually. Like You'll, you'll get something out of it. You're not going to be left empty handed if you bust your ass. Right. You know? Yeah. Right. I don't know. But uh, I know Jesse, Jesse always wants to do the news and we always miss it. So we got, <laughs> we got to get it in. We got 10 minutes left. <laughs> I don't know if you know that. Jesse like, likes doing the news, son. You, uh, well, oh, as, a, as a listener, every time I've got on, we we used to fucking go for like mad long. We'd never get to the news or we'd have the benefit to go to or something yeah. to go to. 
But um, right. just as a listener, like I like that part of the podcast. I've I've always wanted to just be around and hear you guys do news, and then maybe you know chime in yeah, on chime, something. Get in on that. Yeah. All, right, All right. So we'll we'll start off with an intense one here. Uh, Indian priest's wife chops off his penis after he wanted to marry again. Jesus Christ. A holy man in India wanted to get married a third time, but his second wife sliced off his penis as he slept after he ignored her pleas to refrain from getting hitched again. Uh, Maluvi Vakil, 57, a cleric in the city of God only knows how to say that word, was attacked by his wife, Harza, when she chopped off his knife with, a, she chopped off his, knife with uh, his dick with a kitchen knife. Um, she counted the grizzly attack while her husband was asleep. It's his third wife. She didn't want him to get remarried a, th- uh, a second time. And the reason I bring this up is because this happened a few, a couple of years ago. And I remember on The View, Sharon uh, Osborne, uh, some, some woman like cut off her husband's dick and threw it in a, in a, in a garbage disposal. Like, like, and she's laughing about it. Like, that's what he gets for cheating. It's like, yo, man, if you chopped off your wife's titty, son, th- 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 that'd be the, th- like, you're going to prison for the rest of your life, son. How do women keep getting away with this shit? Not even that, but like as a fucking human, th- women lied. Like, so I get to chop off your fucking tongue for lying? Yes. Yeah, so you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. good for you? Like, get the fuck out It's, it's just, I just, I, just, I just feel like, it, uh, the, uh, I always bring it up because the double standard always freaks me out. You know, I saw a tweet like that the other day. Some woman was like, he's like, he's like have you ever noticed some men haven't, haven't been told to shut the fuck up? And I'm like, yo, no woman on earth in this country has been, to- like, at least in this country, has been told to shut the fuck up because they pop off at the mouth and they don't know that saying things can get you smacked. So, like, yeah. like uh, I'm not saying you, uh, you should never hit a woman but, unless she's trying to harm you, but I feel like the weird double standard, double standard is like, it's funny when violence happens to men and it's tragic when it happens to women. Right. And I don't get that. Like, violence is violence. You shouldn't be fucking anybody up. You know what I'm saying? Like, like mm-hmm. unless I had it coming. Like, it's a weird double standard and I don't know why... It still exists. Like, it's goofy if a man gets fucked up. Yeah. But if a woman, if, if, like I said, if you cut off a woman's titty, it'd be like they'd be, a fucking prayer circle would open up. Right. You know, I don't get it. <laughs> mm. For real, son. <laughs> it's true, though. Yeah, they true. laugh about men getting fu- their penis cut off. Dude, it would be a fucking, like, oh, yeah, he just shoved a knife in her vagina. Like, that's not funny. And neither well, is me, this guy me, losing his let me, dick. Let me play devil's advocate for a second. Yeah. And, uh... What happens if the let's say that guy who did happen to get that third wife that he wanted, yeah. right? And let's say he was having sex with her and he caught like some fucking like let's say he caught like fucking AIDS or some shit and yeah. he fucked his, his wife. Ex-wife. Yeah, and yeah. then he gave it to her. Like, you well, know what that's, I'm saying? So that's, then, I mean, the, that's 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 a, that's a whole nother news story. Yeah, that's a whole, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a whole nother news story. Yeah, that's a way more elaborate. Well, story. My point is, my point is, is like. Let's let's not sit here and act like men are fucking like. Oh no, men are perfect. You know I'm so like, yeah, I, I but, agree with that. Is, I agree with that. But I just think it's yeah. weird that women get a pass on violence towards men, and men don't get a pass like, that, that women that men don't got, and no one wants to bring it up. You know, like everyone's talking about you know, me too, and it's, they should stop harassing women. And all, I completely agree. But like shit yeah. like that, that's like a funny headline in the New York Post. Yeah. Guy got his dick cut off. Like, there's nothing funny about that. Son, she maimed him. Yeah. You know, like if it was like they would not, they, it, like I said, a fucking prayer circle would open up if a guy, you know, cut off some girl's labia. You know, like, this shit wouldn't be funny. But let's be clear, he did not actually cause any physical harm or nothing. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, cheated. yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. He was he was, get, he was getting remarried a third time. First of all, that's his mistake. The three marriages, son. Yeah. After one marriage, you should know better to fuck the second one, let alone the third. You're fucking you wild. Try to avoid the first one. Yeah, too. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he made four mistakes right there. <laughs> actually, let's take, a, let's take a quick step further. Why is it that when something happens to a woman, let's say like, let's say a man cheated on a woman or whatever, she automat a lot of women automatically go to like cutting up their like mattress and setting up the yes. shit on fire. Yeah, son. Just, I'm going to burn his car down. I was like, what the fuck is, like if a man was burning your car down, he'd be in prison for stalking and-, well, and- they operate differently emotionally in that way. You know what I'm saying? Just- yeah, but I'm saying, but it's not fair. No, no, not I, right. I, I get you know yeah, it. I'm not saying it's right, but. I mean, you know, it's what it is yeah. what it is, right, Chase? Yeah, it is it what is it is, dog. It is <laughs> what it is, dog. Like, yo. yo <laughs> and that's why, dude, in my heart of hearts, I think men are better people in some ways. Not not a lot of I mean, look, we all have our pluses and minuses. I both feel sexes. like right now, that only happens in this fuck. And well, well, never mind, actually. I was going to say it only happens in this country, but apparently in India, India. she's yeah. taking her hand. <laughs> she's, she's taking, yeah, taking, she's taking her own hands. But I mean, I think that's like a character. Like, like as a man, you know something you say can get you punched in the fucking head. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Another guy will, will, will haul off and fucking smoke you. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, if you disrespect him. But because women don't have that, 
that, that, that, that ever-present threat of getting punched in the face. They say some shit sometimes that would otherwise get a man punched you in the know face. Why, you know why? Because there's a bunch of sucker dudes out there who ain't raising them correctly. Like, there's a lot of... Just because you're a male, you're not a man. So part of you being a man, if, if you're really in a, in a relationship and you, and you honor the woman that you're with, you have to... You have to clean that dirty mind that they come in with because women are goofy in that way. Yeah, they, they think they can say whatever they want. Like, no, you, you, say whatever, you, you can't you talk to me like that. You have to know that there's yeah. repercussions. But it's, it's your duty as a man to kind of, and I know it's probably not PC to say shit like that, but like you, you have to school them in that way. You have to put them on to real life because they're dealing with, with, with simps and fucking beta males and, and, and soy boys who... Uh, yeah, who, who let them get away with that goofy shit. Yes, yeah, I And then they leave them out into the fucking world because they end up resenting them. They go cheat on them. Now that you got a crazy bitch out in the world that I got to fix yeah. when I meet her. Or even worse, and they'll say they'll say some shit and then the guy has to go back up her fucking mouth. Like, have you seen that? Yeah. Like, you'll be at a bar, she'll pop off on some guy. Well, I'm and then you want to fight the guy. I'm no, like, I'm not. Like, no, no, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, me, no, I'm, no, me too. I'm, not. I'm walking away. So I'm like, walking that's away. On you. You, yeah, you fucked it up. You cleaned that mess up. I'm not doing it. I'm walking away from it and, it has, and, yeah. and, and it's not. I'm not going to fight some guy because you got rude to him. I'm fight if a guy district, you know, if you have a drunk guy in the district groping on your girl or something, that's something different. That's different. But no. if you're mouthing off, you're getting left right where you stand. So in, in I'm I, out. In college, that happened to me. Some girl I was dating threw a drink at a guy, and he, and he comes to me. I was like, I, I don't know that bitch. I walked away. I was that's like, that's, that's on her. So I'm not I'm not gonna defend her honor because uh, she wanted to throw a drink in your face. Like she got I'm gonna get into a fight because she fucked and up. That, and that lets Crazy. you know right there. Yeah, I was like, she yeah, don't you weren't even for me in the first. Like if yeah. if you're moving like that out here, you're not moving correctly. You, yeah. you can't move with me like that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. Yeah, I, I've learned. To, I've learned in those situations now, man. If those things happen, man, I don't get involved because it always comes back to like me as getting hurt, like or some shit. You try to do the right thing. It's like, you know. but it's not even the right thing. You're you, what you're doing is you're you're enabling that fucking behavior by defending it. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you're, 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 you're letting know it's okay to, to disrespect it's somebody because okay to someone like else that. is going to clean up her mess. Because like you said, mostly they don't, they, ne they never. We get hit in the mouth as men. Yeah, so yeah, we you understand fuck, you, you what that fuck is. up, you get punched. <laughs> yeah, I've said we've said a thousand times on the podcast. Nothing builds character like getting punched in the face, son. Mm -hmm. Nothing builds like you know right away what, what right or wrong is when you're getting punched in the fucking head. Yep, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, here's a good one. God, I love the New York Post. Bikini-clad Hawaii tourist claims she was pressured to leave the beach by an angry mom. Uh, a Hawaii a Hawaiian tourist claims she was pressured to leave the beach by a mom who told her that her bikini was quote, inappropriate and in the way of her kids. Savannah Sims said she was sunbathing in a, in a, in a two-piece green bathing suit uh, on Hawaii's Big Island, and she had the worst encounter with a woman uh, that she was there with her boyfriend and children. Uh, she says, I look up, and she's looking at me, so I ask if there's an issue, and she says she doesn't want to be seeing my butt and my lady parts, and that it's bothering her kids. She said she wanted me to leave, and I was in the way, so I got up and left. And then she ruined my day. And here's a bathing suit, I'll show you. It wasn't like she had like she wasn't like it's she had a she, she had a G string on. Yeah, you know. And even if she did, I mean, what the fuck? You're at the beach. You're not out there with your pussy hanging out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. No, but this this is something Chase and I have talked about. I want to I want to know where that beach is actually. <laughs> where the pussy out beach? <laughs> the pussy out beach. <laughs> Box out. So I want to get that POB. <laughs> I'm going to POB today. <laughs> yeah, the reason I bring that story up though is because we've talked about this. Why? I get kids are important, you know, the future, all that bullshit. But why is everything fucking on earth now revolving around your kids? Yeah. What happened to adults? Like, yeah. don't adults have fucking presents? Like, she got to get off the beach because some fucking eight-year-old's there and he doesn't want to see a titty? Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's, That's fucking ridiculous. insane, dude. I didn't have to get yeah, on my ridiculous. mother's lap when she was blowing a Newport in my face. Yeah, so you know yeah, yeah, exactly. it's like, yo, it's just what it was. You, that, that's what the adults were doing, and you shut the fuck up and let adults yeah, do what adults do. Yeah, sit down, do. shut that, Exactly, son. Yeah. When we, Chase knows this. When we were kids, son, it's do as I say, not as I do. That's it. Yeah, adults yeah. are drinking, smoking. This is for us. They ain't for you. Yeah, yeah. And you just sat there, watch them get drunk. Or adults or are talking, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you just. Don't chime in on this. You don't have if you're opinion. cool, if, yeah. you're, if you're cool enough to have parents that to say that to you, hey, just sit, sit down, and shut the fuck up. You're gonna learn a lot. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Or they just tell you, they just tell me, hey, just go upstairs, go upstairs. Yeah, go like, to your room. Yeah, <laughs> go yeah your that's room. not for you. That was uh, we talked about it on the podcast before. I, my favorite is fucking. Um, I, I've said it. J Jeff and I talk about it all the time. We're at the bar. We'll be at a bar on a Saturday afternoon before the show, like, mm -hmm. like in Dallas, let's say, right? Drinking. You know, I see the f word. Someone's like, hey, can you wash your mouth? My kids here. Like, bro, we're at a bar, son. I'm not at a yeah. playground smoking crack, son. I'm at a bar drinking with other adults. Get that fucking baby out of the bar. Go be a yeah. parent. 
get a fucking sitter or stay home. Uh, but again, it's it's these or people, just, it's these people who never like... got hit in their mouth because <laughs> how do you come out and tell a stranger, hey, can you not? What if you were nuts and you just went off the hinge and started wailing on them? Yeah, son. Like, yo, don't fucking talk to me. Don't mind your fucking business. And if you don't like what I'm saying, then move away from me. Yeah. Like, it's your problem that you have, right? Don't yeah. make your problem my problem. And that's now. what I say. I was like, yo, I didn't. Yeah. I was like, I didn't raise that fucking. Like, oh, can you watch your mouth around my kid? I'm like, that's not my fucking kid. Mm hmm. You know, I, when did I, when did I become a co-parent to that fucking rat? Get out of here! You know, get out of here with that shit. It drives Randy me. got mad. Randy got mad at me because I told him to relax because he was swearing in yeah. a sushi bar. Yeah, yeah son. I was like, yo, we're having a conversation. It wasn't a bar. No, it was a sushi no, bar. no, it wasn't that. I was no, it wasn't. I was swearing. I was talking about smoking weed. Mm. It wasn't. Th that's. It, I, I didn't swear. Oh, oh was it? Yeah, oh, was it? I didn't swear. Oh, I was talking about smoking weed. He's like, hey, calm down. There's kids here. I'm like, first of all, we're smoking weed in my apartment and it's legal. Mm. Second of all. They should mind their own fucking business. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking to them. Mm. Mm. Dude, mm. that happened in Arizona. Oh, man, I felt bad. <laughs> a little bit because I went hard at this chick. Some, we were sitting at the bar in Arizona. And I'll wrap it up. Oh, I got to hear this. Yeah. I got to hear this. After the show, <laughs> Joe Bigley had me out there. He was headlining. Shout out to Joe Bigley. There was oh, like this is recent? Yeah. We were the 10 of us sitting at a table on a patio, having drinks, just conversing, talking bullshit, uh, talking about, uh, and there was, you know, a couple girls, a couple guys there. Joe was talking about going to some strip club in Arizona the last time he was in town or whatever. Mm. And some girl on the next table over comes walking by and stops by one of the girls at our table. And she goes, hey, are you all right? She's like, yeah, why? She's like, oh, these guys are pigs. I just want to make sure you're fine. And she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm all right. And I, so I was like, like God. oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, she's like, they're talking like animals. I don't want to show you're all right. And I, said, I, I look up and say, why don't you mind your own business, you fat cunt? Uh -huh. And the whole table laughs. Like, <laughs> and she fucking slinked off. And I, that, I went hard calling yeah, her that. yeah, yeah. But I, but I thought she was out of line coming from across, to, from her table with her people mm -hmm. to come out to, uh, and judge us. Yeah. It's like, I didn't go to, like, mind your fucking business. Like, what, in what world is it all right for you to talk to people? Like, like you know, these guys are assholes. I'm like, you don't even know me. Right. You know, like, yeah. fucking, like that's what, that's, I'm an asshole and you're a cunt. Beat it. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's how you want to do this. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, if you want to make me an asshole, now yeah. I'm the asshole. Yeah. You won. Randy, I'm going to say this, man. I'm going to say this one time and one time only to you. I apologize for my mom coming up to you and saying that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap, son. He got <laughs> I, I, I hate to end with a hard story, but that's how it happened, man. I just thought she was crazy for doing that, son. Yeah. I, I, like, I don't get people putting their nose in when they, when they don't need to be. You know, they're starting trouble with whether it was none. It's like, yo, yeah. now, you, now you get to talk to her like that. And I, you know, now these guys might come over and say something to me for saying that. It's like, what the, you could have just went home. Yeah, mind your business. Mind no, your that's it, business. just mind your business. Yeah. That's my favorite yeah. thing to do. Mind my own fucking business. <laughs> That's the name of this episode. Mind your fucking business. Listen, we out. Peace. And we yeah. out. Uh, Chase, you got anything? You got anything coming up? Um, I got nothing at the end of the month. I got a show. Actually, no, just July 4th, I'll be doing a show at the Anchor in Charlestown, uh, nice. Mass. So um, July 4th, come out on uh, Charlestown, Mass, old sh the shipyard there or something like that. I don't know. It's near the water. Just go near the water. I'll be there. Go ahead. Uh, Find a black guy by the water in Boston. It'll be Chase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then uh, I'll be uh, headlining the show at the Cryac Pub in Quincy. Nice. Uh, so that'll be cool. That's July 8th on a Thursday. So get your tickets there. Just go to my Instagram and you'll see that. Nice. And um, as far as that, I'm about to go outside and get a tan. So that's, that's there it. There you go. Keep yourself chocolate. Right. Uh, Jess, you got the album coming out July 10th. Yeah, Mothra. Mothra. Mothra, July 10th, uh, August 1st, oh Lord. And yeah, everything is at uh, giftedhoods.nyc. And Instagram is at G E E. D U B S. That's right. I'm at uh, I'm at uh, I'm at Randy Valero Chase at Chase Abel. I got some shows coming up every Wednesday all the way up comedy. Uh, we got that going on. But next week we got a for Fourth of July week we got a bunch of people coming into town. Uh, big shows, Chase. Big shows next week. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday we got shows. July sixth, seventh, and eighth. Dude, Andrew Santino, Chappelle Lacey, Erica Rhodes, Brad Williams, Chris Porter, Earl Skakel, Jessica Michelle Singleton, Moses Storm. Big big names. So we come out to those shows next week. Uh, and then, big news, Chase. I'll be uh, I'll be featuring at Laugh Boston, August four, uh, October fourteenth through sixteenth, with old Jeff Dye. So I'm coming back, son. Oh, yeah, I never, never heard of that. I never heard of that. Tour's coming back. Yeah, I, I, I reached out to Tobin. He hooked it up. So we're we're doing it. Shout out to John yeah. Tobin. So Laugh Boston in October, uh, <laughs> and that's all we got for right now, kids. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for listening to this episode. We love you. We'll check you next week. Peace. Peace. Peace.